Hello everybody, welcome to Matt Makes Monsters. My name is Matt, and today we're gonna do the boulette. I mean the boule. I mean the... Who cares? We're gonna just call it the land shark. Okay, this guy cares. Tim Cask, find out why, coming up. Hello everybody, so here we go. Uh, so the first thing is first, the boule is spelled B-U-L-E-T-T-E, -E, what is pronounced boule, and that's weird, because that's not even how things work in French, but it doesn't matter. Uh, let's just call him a land shark, or a boule, it doesn't matter. So, once again, I tried very hard to uh, stick to um, the monstrous manual from second edition, in order not to be influenced, which is impossible, because these guys are very specific. Uh, but the um, description for the boule in the Monsters Manual is... Oh, get ready for the wizard voice. Aptly called a land shark, the boule is a terrifying predator that lives only to eat. The boule is universally shunned even by other monsters. It is rumored that the boule is a cross between an armadillo and a snapping turtle. But this is only conjecture. The boule's head and hind portions are blue-brown, and they are covered with plates and scales ranging from grey-blue to blue-green. Nails and teeth are dull ivory. The area around the eyes is brown-black, which is very specific. And the eyes are yellowish and the pupils are blue-green. So that's, uh, that's what I went off of. Oh my goodness. So uh, I wanted to get the uh, armor right on this guy, as you can see. I spent a lot of time getting the chitin. Word of the day, chitin. Uh, just, I wanted it to get right, so I spent a really long time. I wanted to... His armor to look unbreakable. So there's a lot, of, a lot of shifting around and and polishing and changing things in this, and uh, that's because I actually um, hated this guy for a long time. Uh, I, I didn't like any of his positioning. I didn't like how anything was. And back in the old days when I hated things this much, I just stopped and I started again. But I, as I get older, I realize there's value in pursuing some of this stuff. Some things are dead in the water. Like, when you start them and you just kind of have to give up, but that's, you know, I've, the, it's fine. Sometimes you gotta push through. Failing is good for you. So I really wanted to uh, get that right. And I, I moved his eye and that's what changed everything. Um, once I really got it, I feel like I got it. Uh, and I, being, going for the snapping turtle thing was the way to go. Because when his eye was placed down by his mouth, he looked like a whale. And um, it's not a land whale, you know, Matt. It's a, it's a land shark. So, I, I like that. Also, I used brown instead of the usual gray this time for the uh, the overlay. So, But it's a, there's a lot of blue in this guy. Um, so, what I would say is, you know, if you fail, it's good for you. And I, and I failed a lot with this guy, but I eventually I pushed him through. And I think he's, uh, he's way better for it. Um, so I made the, de the decision fairly early on that I wanted him popping out of the ground back there. Uh, my favorite part about the boule is that he can be walking through a beautiful forest when, bam, land shark, just out of nowhere. Uh, sometimes you can see his little fin sticking out of the ground. Uh, I, I love it. Surprise. <laughs> uh, so I, I wasn't very pleased with him, but once I got like the little pebbles and the dust and the dirt and I was kind of, I was pretty pleased, uh, and, and it's really interesting, he had this evolution from I hate this to this is not bad. Okay, so you, you, you're you going to see like shifts like that, where the whole thing shifts, that is the, that is the liquify tool. Uh, I love, I use it to change everything. Uh, Procreate became my go-to tool once that feature was added. Uh, and it's one of the ways you can turn and I hate this and everything else, like I just want to destroy the world because I hate this so much, into a, oh, that's that's not too bad. So, liquefy. Love it. Uh, it will take you to heaven and uh, it will fix your major structural issues in the process. Hey, look at this guy. He's all cartoony. <laughs> so, the boule was based on uh, the... the Dungeons and Dragons uh, 
co-creator Gary Gygax had a bunch of dinosaurs, the prehistoric animal toys. They were just like crappy uh, toys. They're awesome to look at now. Here, I'll put them up. This is what he looked like originally. Uh, he referred to him as the bullet. Uh, and before D&D was, was actually created, they just used this guy and he used to barrel down the halls. And uh, then Tim Kask, the guy who I talked about at the start, he saw this and he he was uh, tasked to make a monster out of this guy. So he's like, all right, I'm going to, first of all, because they call him the bullet, I'm just going to call him a boulet because it sounds French and kind of interesting. And he said there was a lot of anti-French stuff happening at the time. And then he was watching Saturday Night Live. Um, and this was during the Jaws craze when uh, Jaws was, was all around and everywhere. And uh, Saturday Night Live had a, a skit where... <laughs> there was a knock at the door and it's it's a fairly famous one and it's the shark at the door and he refers to himself as the land shark and he just I think he eats Jane Curtin uh, so uh, when he saw that he was like oh that's perfect land shark and he just put it all together and that's how this guy was born it's uh bam the boule was was born like that so it's pretty cool so you know I think there's a lot of failure that involves in that's involved in in creating art, and uh, I don't think it's a bad thing. It's really the only way to grow as an artist is to fail uh, a lot, and I have failed multiple times, uh, countless times, and sometimes it just sometimes it really makes you mad. But you just got to push through, start again, and learn your lessons, and you can eventually get to a place where you don't hate i'm not the kind of artist that hates everything uh that they do like i i still like i really appreciate some of the things that i do here and i know where i went wrong like the background here that was phoned in look at that Ugh. i'm unimpressed with myself see but i'll learn next time so both of these fellas are now up on uh, you know Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, the, the usual suspects, the usual uh, social media platforms. You can follow me on there to get a closer look. And, um, you know, it's not full res, but it's, it's closer. And uh, if you uh, haven't subscribed, please do. Um, comment below with another theme you want to see. I'm like seven episodes. I got to start a new one. So, uh, you know, I don't know what I'm doing yet. And that's a little scary because I like to have a, a backlog. So throw some ideas down there because soon it's going to be too late. It's going to be too late. You're going to be like, I want to see uh, ancient Greek monsters. Like, okay, I guess. But, you know, but it's too late because I've already started uh, something else. So, you know, let me know what you want to do. Next week, we're doing the ghoul. What with the tongue and the glowing eyes and the things. So join me next week. For our first undead. First of many. I mean, there's going to be a lot. There's going to be so many undead on this channel. Okay, everybody. See you next week. Bye. Still doing the hand thing. Three episodes in. Oh. What the hell?